Yanyi, I know from the council over the years that those strong cultural values have been really important for the way you do things. And, and I see that in terms of your, you, know, you reworked your constitution and tried to really pull in more of those strong cultural values. Can you tell us a bit about, you know, like Nupaji Nupaji and those concepts and how they are like a foundation, I suppose, mm. for how you do things. Tell us a bit about those cultural values. Um, when the uh, constitution was updated in 2008, the women uh, at an AGM agreed that we would include guiding principles. So uh, following the law straight and working with a kind heart and Napaji Napaji. Mm. And uh, Yanyi um, was there at the time when uh, those amendments were made. But those guiding principles are really about the spirit of the organisation. And really at the end of the day, if the importance and role of the organisation can be summarised in a Pinjara word, it's Wancha, it's family. So it's been created to care and to look out for the interest of family and women being the advocates for family um, and filling the gap where others aren't able to provide particular needs that people have. So, But within the organisation it is seen as a wild year, as a family as well. It's the women communities working together with staff which are mainly on Aboriginal people, um, being led, those instructions being provided by the ladies over many years and uh, uh, but not being um, in a situation where staff are then left to, to do that themselves, it's working together, it's napaji napaji, it's side by side working together. When they bring the ladies all these old ladies, they really look after the white staff and they care for them. And I think the elderly ladies, some who have been there for a long time, they really love those people who are looking after them. Nobody, nobody, they're working together and loving together as one. There's a uh, model that Women's Council mm. has created, uh, mm. which is the Malpara way Malpara. of working. Malpara way of working. Yeah. Tell us a bit about that. First, Ngapati Ngapati working together, and then Malpara Malpara work, working together, and Jungo, we call that one Jungo team. So, white and Aboriginal. They're working together as Jung, together. And that's where we found all this story from those who passed away. Look up, Ngapati Ngapati working together, Malparara, like us two sitting here, Malparara. And we're working together Jung, we all work together. Uangara. So this, mm. so the governance Yanyi is the chair is my Malpa. Mm. So I do the administrative side and uh, leading with the staff, yeah. but uh, it's n never disconnected from working Malpa, Malpa Ara way with the chairperson and the directors because they're my support. So uh, the, I guess as far as working in Aboriginal communities. The, uh, the, the, the one thing that uh, we endeavour to never happen is for people to feel a sense of isolation. People having that support or knowing where they can go, um, whether it's by reading something or by talking to someone or having a contact in the community. And when you wear your Women's Council t-shirt on, on country mm. and go in, you're immediately working for Wildshire for family. Yeah.